Okay, hi everybody. I am out camping at Elk Island. It's dark. Um, there's nobody here, so I'm super excited. But you can see there's the bus. There's nobody around. It's so peaceful, except for like one dog barking in the background. But I'll try to make the lights so you can see me. Anyway, um, tomorrow I'm going to hike back in and try out some of my new winter camping gear, like a new stove and um, a winter hammock. So I'll take you guys along with me, but right now I'm just going to hang out outside. I have the heat on in the bus to warm it up and I'm just going to hang out out here and just listen. Listen to the silence. <laughs> it's so nice. Anyway, I'll go over some of the gear that I got tomorrow, including this cape that I'm wearing it's super comfy and super warm and it actually has like a shell that you can put over it so I'll do all that tomorrow and show you what I have and then hopefully um, hopefully the gear works nicely and maybe you guys want to get some of that gear too so anyway I hope you all have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow It's so nice, I don't want to go inside. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm going to stay out for a little while. You can hear the heater going though. At first it sounded like the bus was taking off to outer space because it was blasting. So now it's calmed itself down. It's going to be toasty, toasty warm. Got a full tank of diesel for that diesel heater. Good morning, here is my breakfast. A friend of mine, Monique, made this amazing uh, freeze-dried meal, breakfast scramble. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> so I just warmed up some coffee. I'm going to pack it all away. Uh, my stove goes in the top here. And my dishes go there. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to get ready to go and go for a little hike and I will take you guys along. Um, so I am out here just testing some gear. I'm not very far from the bus because I have quite a bit of gear and I need to figure out what I need and what I don't need. So I'll show you the pack. I set up a pack to go day hiking, but also to support me if I needed to stay overnight. So I'm going to show you what I got. So this is the pack. It's actually a first aid pack and I might do a video on how it's laid out. Don't mind, I just put those on because it was icy coming over here and those are my gloves. But um, strapped to the outside in dry sacks is a, a tarp, an underquilt, and a hammock. So they're all right here, these three things. Um, so of course I won't always need those. Uh, and then I have a first aid kit right there and water and a knife. Um, so I'm going to set up my hammock and then I'll show you what I come up with. Really quickly before I set up the hammock, actually I have, um, one of those things on the outside was a poncho liner. One's an under quilt. The hammock's actually inside right there. So I just thought I'd show you really quickly this pack. Of course I have extra things that I am going to take out just based on what I find out today. This is actually a poncho that can go over the outside if it rains. Here's my coffee maker. But this pack has all these compartments set up. Here's my hammock. This is my Pathfinder 
uh, cook set with water. But what I liked about this pack was that all of these little compartments are Velcro and they just come off. So everything can be organized for my time out hiking. Yeah, so I just set up like a little plow point that side needs to be tightened, which I'll do. But anyway, I'm gonna set everything inside and then I'll show you. have a fire kit with me um so in this kit I have bear rod I have my own homemade fire kit Ooh. with some Vaseline soaked cotton balls a fire starter candle a tampon some uh, matches a lighter and there's some tinder in there Also have waterproof matches, uh, fatwood, dryer lint, with added dog hair, uh, another fire seal, more lighters, and uh, candles. The wind has not been my friend today. Not at all. I wanted to put my hammock up. I was gonna hike in pretty far and do this, but I thought for my first time trying this equipment, I should probably just stick close and then I if I need anything, I can go get it. And if I find that something doesn't work, I'm, I'm not hauling it like forever out. I'm not giving up though. <laughs> the wind will not 
eat me. the lid. That wasn't very smart. Not very smart. For drinks, I have apple sauce or apple cider, <laughs> hot chocolate, coffee. There's honey in here. There should be tea, but I don't see any. Oh yeah, there's tea. Yay! I didn't forget the lid. doing is making a huge mess. Gigantic mess. I wanted to thank everybody for all the tips about when I first showed this little stove I just showed it behind my bus in my driveway and I was like in the snow and so of course it doesn't bloom because it's freezing on the bottom from the snow so thank you to everybody that gave me tips to make sure that I don't try to light it in the snow for cooking because that doesn't work. I think it's going to boil soon. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> the tarp has come down like a couple times because the wind is so bad. It like dies off and then it just blasts in here. So I'm going to have to come out for sure way more times just to make sure that I can figure this stuff out. Ah, it's boiling. Delicious. Delicious. This is how they do it in those fancy restaurants. You like swirl it or something.
Don't judge me. I like sweet coffee. <laughs> oh, the sun. So nice. Thank you. I woke up this morning and it was sunny. And then when I came to come out here, it went away. Okay, I'm going to try this. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> I'm surprised, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Yum. So my view is okay besides the big tree in front of me. That I have my tent tied to. Right there. Anyway. Here's the crazy wind. There's a, a beaver, a beaver den straight ahead, and there's all these little tracks out to it. So I was trying to see if I could see what they were. Anyway, I'm gonna wait till the wind dies down. I'll bring it back. Okay, it died down. I should show you my favorite poncho. So this poncho, um, I'll have to insert a picture of it. I got it off of Amazon. But it's really cool because it has like a fleece poncho that you put on as a liner and it can uh, snap in with these little snacks. It's got a huge front pocket that of course it folds up into. So I'll try to insert a picture. It's Hazard 4. It's a Hazard 4 poncho. I love it. It's lightweight, but it it blocks the wind. You can obviously use it as a ground tarp if you wanted to. It has little grommets, but I wouldn't do that. Um, I wouldn't want to wreck it. It's got a huge hood. liner actually doesn't have a hood but it comes it's got like a really big collar on it so it comes up really high anyway, I really like it I wasn't gonna wear it but I got all the way over here and it was the wind was so bad that it was freezing the sun was out we're in the parking lot but the wind was like the clouds came in and then the wind came in I'm really not very far. I can literally see the bus. So I'm glad I didn't go way back in. Although if I went way back in, I probably wouldn't have all this wind. There were the perfect trees at my campsite last night. That when I woke up this morning, the sun was shining in and it would have been perfect to set up the hammock there. But you have to be out by 11. I was really lazy this morning. <laughs> it was like 10, 10, 10 when I left my site. I think I might make some food. Okay, I'm gonna make this. But look inside. They literally have ketchup packets in there. They got you covered. Stop it. Stop it. Go away.
That's really bad. So I was walking out and there's deer. Let me see if I can zoom with one hand. One ready to cross the trail. down there in the bushes. I didn't even know they were there. I need to go that way. Thanks for letting me go by. Have a good day. Thanks for not trampling me. Well, that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> the wind was just too crazy. Holy cow. Um, anyway, the backpack. I really like it. It's really easy to organize. Of course, I just shoved stuff in here now because I packed up really quick. But um, just the way it clamshells all the way open. I shoved the steaks in that stuff in there but those little packs are really really nice uh, that's just my poncho and some gloves and then it closes up nicely do I need all this stuff on the inside heck no um, I'm gonna figure out what I do and do not need I I don't think I need to cart the hammock around all the time but anyway I just thought I would try all this stuff so that I could see, but of course I didn't get to put the hammock up and therefore didn't get to use the under quilt, but, but it was good to, um, it was good to go out and have fun. And I, I made some really yummy coffee and now I'm just going to finish up that meal that I had started, but the wind got so bad that <laughs> the wind got so bad that I was like, okay, I like my little stove ran out of fuel and I have more fuel with me, but I thought rather than fueling it up and reboiling or boiling the water more I was like no I'll just pack up and come back to the bus and cook it so I'm in here a little bit messy that's the t the poncho I was wearing and this is the liner so I'll insert a picture where I got it off of Amazon if you're interested and I'll maybe insert a picture of the backpack that I'm using it it rides really nicely it wasn't too too heavy I thought oh my god this is gonna be really heavy but honestly it wasn't and I'm really excited about like going for day hikes with it in the spring because of course I won't have all that junk on the outside I'm not going to carry the hammock and the um or I might just carry the hammock only um but not the under quilt and the big tarp I have a little tarp that I can um set down on the ground so I just put everything on it so that I could take it over there and try but what a bad idea I picked a really bad spot it's so beautiful like the view is so nice but um the wind was so so bad so anyway i'm gonna cook something to eat and i will talk to you in a bit hello mr deer i don't know where the others are Came from over there. Just hanging out. <clears throat> Here they come. There's actually four of them. So, oh, I see the others in the bushes. They'll be coming soon.
Mm, here's the other one. So I'm going to end this video here. I'll put together what I can. It's a really windy day, but a beautiful night uh, out camping. The weather's going to get a little colder here and I got to work on the weekend. So whenever it warms up again, I will be back out. Thank you so much for watching and following me and, uh, you know, lasting through all the craziness. Uh, brought to you by the bus inside the bus. I just picked up a coffee so I'm back in town as you can see in the background. Yeah, hope to be out on another adventure soon. Hopefully I can get the hammock up next time. Um, lesson learned, I'll go either on a less windy day, but this was the only day I had, or I'll just go inland a little more, not right on the edge of the water, which is probably a better idea. Uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.